वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे वी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेलाइकन हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे वी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस नाउ टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज ट्वेंटी फाइव वी फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ इस चांद सो हियर इन द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पॉलीगन्स सो हियर द फर्स्ट डायग्राम हियर ए B C D E that means A E B C D it's a polygon okay and here E D equal to six centimeter the height that means A D perpendicular height equal to uh, the perpendicular height equal to eight centimeter not the length of A D remember that and here B C equal to twelve centimeter and the perpendicular height from A to C that equal to thirteen centimeter. Okay, and you have to find out the area of this whole polygon. So, okay, so here you can divide this polygon into two parts. The upper parts that means A E D it's a triangle, and the lower parts that means E B C D it's a trapezium. So first you have to find out the area of this triangle, and then we have to find out the area of this trapezium. Now, as here the perpendicular height equal to eight. that means 8 is the height of that triangle okay and the whole height of the polygon equal to 13 that means the height of the trapezium will be 13 minus 8 that equal to 5 clear so first write down here area of triangle aed plus area of trapezium edcb okay so what is the area sorry what is the formula to find out the area of a triangle you know that it's half into base into height and what is the area formula to find out the area of a trapezium that is half into sum of parallel sides this one and this one into height okay so let's put down the value half into 6 into 8 that becomes 24 half into 6 plus 12 into 5 that becomes 45 so 24 plus 45 that equal to 69 cm square is the answer now the next one second diagram here a b c d e f it's a hexagon and all of the side of this hexagon equal to 8 cm okay and here this one i j g h i j g h it's a rectangle so first you have to find out the area of the hexagon and then you have to find out the area of this rectangle then you have to add this to area you will get the whole area of the polygon okay so to find out the area of the hexagon uh, suppose if you divide uh, we can sorry we can divide this hexagon into six equilateral triangles as all sides of the hexagon are equal that means here you can easily divide this hexagon into six different equilateral triangles suppose if this one equal to 0 then aob is the first triangle boc second cod third doe fourth eof fifth and foa sixth okay and now what is the formula to find out the area of equilateral triangles that is root 3 by 4 into side square and as here all the sides are 8 cm so root 3 by 4 8 square Now, how many equilateral triangles are here? Six. That's why multiply with six. So the area of this hexagon equal to six into root three by four into eight square, and that equal to ninety-six root three centimeter square. Now next, you have to find out the area of this rectangle. Here length equal to twelve, breadth equal to four. So area of this rectangle equal length into breadth equal to forty-eight centimeter. Now to find out the whole area, you have to just add this one. With this one, so ninety six plus root three plus forty eight, and the value of root three equal to one point seven three two approximately. Okay, so just write down here ninety six into one point seven three two plus forty eight that becomes two one four point two seven centimeter square. Okay, so that is the final answer. Now the third one. Okay, now this diagram a little bit confusing, so. please listen each and every words of mine okay very carefully so here a suppose this one a b c d e f g h i and the last one suppose j this one j okay 
So, this is the diagram this one this is the diagram the outer line and it is given that here this one equal to 6 centimeter and the whole line that means I f I to f the whole one equal to 19.5 okay here d e equal to 5.5 b c equal to 11 and a i the whole length equal to 25 and last one e f equal to 10 centimeter that's uh, so that's value these values are given okay so first so first here if a b equal to if a b equal to 6 centimeter and if uh, we just uh, expand this line B C with parallel A I. So, B C here intersect I F at the point H. Okay. That means, the value of A I equal to value of B H. So, if A I equal to 25, then B H equal to also 25. So, here A B H I, it is a rectangle. A B H I is a rectangle. Now, next thing if you extend if you extend D E up to this point okay, or up to this point suppose here it is J. So, it is uh, suppose it is K okay, this one K. So, now if we extend E D up to point J that means here E F H J E F H J it is a another rectangle okay and as the length of i f equal to 19.5 and here i h equal to 6 that means h f equal to 19.5 minus 6 that equal to 13.5 okay so h f equal to 13.5 and here c j d it is a triangle so that means here i divide this whole diagram into three parts first one it's a rectangle the upper one second one it's a another rectangle this one this one is the another rectangle okay and third one is a triangle okay clear so first we have to find out the area of this rectangle and this one also then you have to find out the area of this triangle clear and then you have to add this three area to get the whole diagram. So, for the upper rectangle here length equal to 25 breadth equal to 6. So, you can easily find out the area length into breadth. The lower rectangle here length equal to 13.5 from 19.6 minus 6 that equal to 13.5 and breadth equal to given 10 centimeter so that equal to 135 now next here you have to find out the area of this triangle okay so here hf equal to 13.5 hf equal 13.5 that means je equal to also 13.5 and it's given that de equal to 5.5 that means the rest part dj dj equal to 13.5 minus 5.5 that equal to 8. So, here dj equal to 8 centimeter. I repeat as je equal to 13.5 and de equal to 5.5 that means dj equal to 13.5 minus 5.5 that equal to 8 centimeter. Now, here here as a i equal to 25 centimeter ok clear b c equal to 11 centimeter and j h equal to 10 centimeter it is equal to with this one. So, j h equal to 10 centimeter. So, this portion equal to 11 this portion equal to 10. So, 10 plus 11 that means 21 and the whole line equal to 25. So, this part that means c j c j equal to 21 sorry 25 minus 21 that equal to 4. So, now in this triangle D J C here length and breadth sorry it is height and breadth height and uh, base equal to 4 and 8. So, to find out the area of this triangle half into height into base that equal to 16 centimeter. 
so now you have to add this one this one and this one to get the whole area and that equal to 310 centimeter square okay so i hope you have no problem now the fourth one so here a b c d e is the given diagram a b equal to 3 centimeter b c equal to 5 centimeter e d equal to 2 centimeter and a e equal to 6 centimeter so first draw a parallel line with respect to a e and that equal to g d okay so here if e d equal to 2 centimeter then a g equal to also 2 centimeter and as a b equal to 3 centimeter the upper part equal to 2 centimeter that means the lower part will be 1 centimeter same thing will be happen here as b c equal to 5 centimeter so here g f equal to 5 g f equal to 5 and as a e equal to 6 centimeter total that means the rest of the part a f d f d equal to 1 centimeter and as here g b equal to 1 then f c equal to also 1 so here also the whole diagram will be divided into three parts first one the upper rectangle a g d e the upper rectangle second part this lower rectangle that is g b c f g b c f that one and the last part it's a triangle okay so here the upper part the area will be length into breadth breadth means here 2 so 6 into 2 that becomes 12 centimeter square the lower rectangle here length equal to 5 breadth equal to 1 so 5 into 1 5 centimeter and in this triangle here height and base height and base equal to 1 and 1 so half into 1 into 1 that means 0 0.5 centimeter square so now you have to add this 3 1 and you will get 17.5 centimeter square as the whole area of this polygon so here the last problem in this exercise so my dear students i hope you like my video please please support me and please share this video with your friends so whenever you share this video i will get more more subscribers from you so please please do share okay so here in the five a school crossing sign has the dimension as shown in the given figure a school crossing has the sign dimension as shown in the given figure so here is the given figure uh, name as a b c d e so a b c d e is the given figure okay and the length of b c equal to 38 length of c d equal to 76 and length of the whole height that means from this point to this point that equal to 76 so if b c equal to 38 that means here clearly e d equal to also 38 so that means the upper portion a to e that point and that equal to also 38 as the whole height equal to 76 and this one equal to 38 so 78 6 minus 38 that equal to 38 okay so that means the whole diagram will be divided into two parts the upper parts is a triangle whose height equal to 38 and base equal to 76 and here is a rectangle whose breadth equal to 38 and length equal to 76 so to find out the area first you have to find out the area of this triangle and then you have to find out the area of this rectangle so length into breadth is the area of the rectangle and half into height into base that is the area of the triangle so you will get 4332 centimeter square that is the first answer you have to find out the area of the signboard now next one number two if four such signboards that means there are four signboards okay like this way one two three four four signboards are cut from a rectangular metal sheet 350 centimeter long and 220 320 centimeter wide what will be the area of the metal left over so first you have to find out the area of the full metal sheet and as here length and breadth are given so 350 into 220 320 that equal to 112 000 centimeter square so this is the length okay this is the length sorry this is the area of the full metal sheet now from this full metal sheet you have to cut four signboard like this way so each and every signboard the area will be 4332 so the total area of four signboard will be 4 into 4332 and you have to subtract this area 
from the total metal sheet area to get the area of the leftover. So here one one two triple zero minus four into that one, they get one seven three two eight. So the final answer will be nine four six seven two. Okay. So thank you for watching this video.